this video, we're going to discuss referential integrity. So a fully null foreign key is one where all columns are null. Referential integrity requires that all foreign key values have to match some primary key value or be fully null. Sometimes a data entry error or incomplete data may cause a referential integrity violation, but these must be fixed before the data is stored in the database. Referential integrity can be violated in a few ways such as updating a primary key or foreign key, having a row that contains a primary key that's deleted, or a row containing a foreign key that's inserted. Note that referential integrity is not violated by inserting primary or deleting foreign keys. You can manually update a database to fix any referential integrity violation, but this is error prone and time consuming. So when creating a table with the foreign key, the SQL actions shown here on the bottom of the screen they automatically correct referential integrity violations. There's restrict, which rejects invalid insert updates or deletes. Set null, which sets foreign key values to null if they're invalid. Set default, which sets a default primary key value if the foreign key is invalid. There's cascade, which makes primary key changes to foreign keys. And if you're using cascade and a primary key is deleted, rows containing matching foreign keys are also deleted. If a primary key is updated, then matching foreign keys are updated to the same value.